All right, the French defense. We have a second trap against a French defense. So this is white playing a trap against black. After you watch these three videos, this is number two, the progressive level video, then you're probably not going to want to play the black side of the French defense because these are all traps that white springs against black. In the first video, we explained that the French defense is e6 on black's first move and that the main problem behind it is the light squared bishop can't get out and into the action. And so instead of making the exchange variation, which would be pawn takes pawn right now and they take back, instead knight to c3. Now black has two main moves. They could exchange, but they could also play bishop to b4. That's the subject of our next video, the challenge level video on the French defense. And this is called the winnower variation. But we're going to look at another trap in the classical French, which is after knight f6, we're going to pin the knight. Black breaks the pin. Now we gain space and chase that knight away. I explained in the fundamental level why we want to gain space. And then also I explained why we want to make this bishop trade, our bad bishop for their good bishop. And then you want to solidify your center because in the French defense, that's what black's goal is, is to collapse your center with the pawn pushes c5 and possibly f6 to attack the base of your pawn chain and the head of your pawn chain. So you play pawn to f4 really solidify things. In the fundamental level, we learned that c5 is a mistake because the knight can jump into b5. So instead, black plays pawn to a6. And now a nice normal developing move. The knight comes out to f3. And now they can play c5 and get away with it. Our knight can't jump in there. And your bishop goes to d3. And here is where black can fall into your trap and black castles they have fallen into the Greek gift sacrifice. And the Greek gift sacrifice is when your bishop captures that H pawn, and then it follows up usually with a knight and a queen. And the rules of the Greek gift are that you have to have a bishop that can capture the H pawn, then a knight that can safely move to the G file for check. A queen can come out to the H file to follow that up, to threaten a mate, and that your opponent can't guard that mate square, that square where you sacrificed your bishop. And so let's move from this position to an instructive illustration to really get the idea of the Greek gift sacrifice. The Greek gift is that gift of the wooden horse, you might remember, that was rolled into the city of Troy and inside the belly of this wooden horse, the warriors came out during the middle of the night and sieged the castle. And so here, of course, it's a wooden bishop that we have in this clever drawing. And we can see what white is thinking here. The bishop is ready to make the sacrifice. The knight will go jumping up. The queen will come flying out. And white will have a winning attack if all of those things work. For black, black's king is excited. Wow, looks like they're giving me a free gift. But it looks like the other pieces might know that this could be a little bit of trouble. And... Yes, it is indeed trouble, because after the king captures, that's move number one, your bishop can sacrifice. Two, your knight can safely go to the g-file with check. And notice, if your pawn wasn't protecting the knight, then the queen could just take. Then three, your queen can get out to that h-file to threaten mate on that square where you sacrifice the bishop. And number four, they don't have a piece that can move to guard that checkmate square. So if the knight comes out, you can just take away the pawn, and obviously the bishop's blocked. Sometimes this rook is over, and in that case, it wouldn't work. The knight could come back to f8 to guard it. But here, our Greek gift works, and black's best move is to sacrifice their queen for the knight, unfortunately for black. So that is the trap. Number two, the progressive level French defense trap, the Greek gift. I'll check you later.